And I like the way they're playing, you know, from when you could dominate as a big guy, the others, it's real easy for him. You know, he's demanding double teams. He's getting in the post like, you know, Chuck and I demanded a long time ago. When you do that, Bias Harris can get off. Danny can get off. And the other players can get off. And they're playing well. What do you say we uh, bring in Joel Embiid from Philadelphia? Uh, pulling the rare double-double with a, uh, a pregame live interview with Ali LaForce, a postgame live interview with us. We appreciate you taking the time, big fella. Congratulations on the, uh, the fifth All-Star selection. Appreciate you. Thank you. And number two, look, last year, remember, we're all talking about who's going to be the MVP, and you're right there a season to go. And then the injury comes, and you miss some games, and then it winds up in the hands of Nikola Jokic. Are, are you driven to be the MVP this year? Uh, well, uh, to be the MVP, you got to win games. Uh, so that's my, that's my main focus. Uh, we got to continue to do uh, what we've been doing. Uh, we've been playing great. Uh, as of late, obviously we started the year pretty well, and obviously COVID hit us, and you know I missed a couple of, uh, games because of COVID, and uh, we lost a couple of them. Uh, but now we're starting to, you know, get back in the rhythm and get some guys back, so it's great. So to, like you said, to be the MVP, uh, you know my focus is on winning, and obviously I'm asked to, you know, be our best defensive player, offensive player, and playmaker. So you know, and I love it. So that's what we've been doing as a team. Uh, Joel, Shaq here. Three things. One, thank you for dominating. Two, very proud of you. And three, don't you find it easier for your teammates to get into the game when you dominate like you're dominating? I, I didn't hear the third one. What did you say? I, I said, don't you find it easy for your teammates to get involved in the game when you're dominating? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, like you said, well, thank you uh, in the first place. Uh, but, you know, uh, tonight, uh, as you saw tonight, they doubled me on the catch. Uh, so I had to make plays for my teammates and, uh, you know, get off the ball. Uh, you know, you probably want me to shoot uh, even when I get double. Uh, but, you know, it's all about making the right plays. And, you know, that's how we've been playing all year. And, you know, if they got me single coverage, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever I've been scoring lately. But, you know, it's great. Uh, you know, that's how you play basketball and that's how you win. You know, Joel, you've been playing, obviously, you clearly, in my opinion, the front runner, way front runner of MVP. Tobias has been doing this thing. Who are the young guys on your team well, who are going to have to I'm, step up? I'm pissed, I'm pissed off I, I had a bad night tonight, uh, you know, especially because you guys were on. Uh, you know, you, you know, it wasn't a good night, but I'm glad we got the we got the win. That's a big win, especially uh, you know in our quest to be uh, the number one seed. Well, but I'm saying, what what young guys on your team got to step up other than you and Tobias going down, finishing up the second half of the season? Oh, Maxi has been great. He needs to keep doing whatever he's been doing. Uh, you know, Matisse, obviously. Uh, you know, set. Uh, he's been huge for us. Uh, I mean, everybody. I mentioned it uh, a couple of days ago uh, in the press conference. I said, for us to be able to compete, uh, we got to be, you know, damn near perfect. Uh, you know, everybody has to bring it. Uh, you know, I got to do what I do. Uh, but then again, I can't. I can't do it alone. I need my teammates. And you know, guys, I'll be coming in. You know, Isaiah coming off the bench. Uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that can play, and uh, that's what that's what we've been winning. Well, I'm going to let you go, Joe, with just a comment because I talked to Sam Cassell, the assistant coach, a lot about you. <laughs> so he always tell it, screaming your praises. And But the one thing that I, I would add is that, you know, you thought you played terribly, but I thought as a, as a group here, we thought you played great because you made the right basketball play. Like, you, you force people to double team you, and then yeah. it leaves guys open. And then when they don't, you punish them inside. Sometimes you're yeah. going to get 40, and sometimes you're going to get – 26 and 10 doing that. So congratulations to just making the right basketball play, and we all enjoyed it. Yes, sir. That's how you win. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid, thank you so much for taking the time, and uh, we'll see you in Cleveland. Uh, appreciate it. All right. Uh, 105-87, the final. Go ahead. You know what's interesting? He is learning what a superstar is. Like, it, Shaq, guys who are can't get their own shots that's what it happened you know about a superstar he said he didn't have as many points because they like were smart enough they're gonna double him but when you become a superstar making guys around you better that's when you become a star you got because you got to find a way to dominate what makes you an all-star you just a good player what makes you a great player is the ability to win the game multiple ways 
and make your teammates better. We got a lot of looters and riots around here. A lot of guys in the NBA who put up great numbers, they can't play. I mean, in today's game, people, they can't play dead. Because there's only about, you say, five great players? Well, superstars. 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 Like guys who... And, and there's a difference also, you, you, you talk about multiple ways. We, we always say, again, uh, you know, scoring, rebound, assist is obvious. Those are the people, those are the analytics. But the also is the intangibles is leadership and defense that how it affects the game. Uh, and what Joel, there's also being a reluctant. These guys were never reluctant in being superstars. When I say reluctant, that means accepting the blame and passing the praise. There's two different things. You, anybody can accept praise. But passing the praise to your teammates, as he just talked about Tobias, talked about Thibel, like that's the superstar. And, and apologizing for the bad night. And about, 26, that's superstar. 26 He's, 9. Everybody, everybody isn't, isn't yeah. willing to accept the praise, I mean, the, the, the criticism too, and then pass the praise when it comes to it. Because I think a lot of time, there's no way I'm that Joel. Those teams, he, when he getting 50, like, you have to, you got, I don't understand, like, no. 27 minutes. Yeah, yeah, like, wait, man, you got to make him pass the ball. You, listen, if Maxi beat me, I'm shaking his hand. If Thibault beats me, I'm shaking his hand. But to sit there and let one guy just go crazy, that's to me is just bad coaching. I mean, he, first of all, he's a great player, but I'm not going to let one guy beat me single-handedly. And to your point about guys who can't play, uh, brings to mind uh, my good buddy, Rip Shearer, a longtime college and NFL coach, who said, uh, guy, couldn't play a dead guy in a cowboy movie. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale has a great line. He says, there's a lot of empty calories out, out here. Uh, <laughs> I wish someone loved me. Shaq loves Joel Embiid. That's funny. <laughs>